Today I'm going to show you some accessories that you can use to expand the capabilities of your low gain kit. I have here a number of sawns to start, which you can use to locate non-metallic lines, sewers, drains, conduits, um, and they range in size from the S6 sawn, which is a very little sawn, all the way out, up to the super sawn, um, which is this one right here. The little S6 sound uh, works with, they all work with batteries. This is the battery. It's a very small battery. That is the compartment. Pop the battery in and you're in operation. This is a 33 kilohertz sound. Um, other sounds in that small range are the, uh, is the S9, a little bit bigger than the S6. The 6 and the 9 uh, correspond to the diameter of the sounds expressed in millimeters. So that's a 6 millimeter, that's a 9 millimeter, very small sounds. Then we go to the uh, next, to the standard sound, which works on uh, either 512 or 33 kilohertz. We use a regular AA battery. All these sounds have a life of about 8 hours. So the battery, once you put it in, will last for about 8 hours. There's no on-off switch. Uh, so the S6 is a six and a, five, six and a half foot range. This one is a, a 13 foot range. That's a 16 foot range. Continuing with range, we go to the sewer zone, which is a 33 kilohertz zone that works with a nine volt battery. This one will give you a 30 foot range and uh, it's only available on 33 kilohertz and you go up to the big one the super sound which is same uh, operation with a uh, 9 volt battery and this one is going to give you a 50 foot range uh, for deep sewer lines so these are the sounds <coughs> i also have here a number of accessories to your receiver so these are accessories that you plug into your receiver, uh, again, to expand the capabilities of your device. Uh, you, would, you would plug it into the accessory port, right? And uh, for example, this is the, it's called the small stethoscope. It's a stethoscope that you can use to identify a cable within a bundle of cables. This is the miniature stethoscope. Again, you touch a cable to identify whether that is the cable that is carrying your signal. Uh, and then you go into the larger stethoscope. This is a large stethoscope. And this one right here is called the CD stethoscope. That will give you a, an arrow, an LED will lit up to indicate the direction of flow of your CD current. Any of these accessories, accessories get, gets plugged into the uh, uh, access report so you plug it in and you're good to go the last accessory for the receiver is the small signal clamp and this is the one that I have here for show but these clamps for the receiver come in two inch also four and five inch clamps and they allow you to go around the cable maybe in a handhold or a manhole um, you can use an extension staff to reach either up in the air or down into a manhole or handhole and clamp around the cable and identify whether that cable is carrying your signal or not using your receiver. These are accessories that you can use again to expand the capabilities of your locating kit. The last accessory that I'm going to show is called the easy ground rod, which is this uh, ground rod with a hammer effect that allows you to bury this in the ground, perhaps a little bit deeper than your regular ground rod. And also the fact that it is copper clad gives you better conductivity, which will increase your signal coming off your transmitter and perhaps allow you to better, uh, to get a better locate signal. Uh, this is where you would uh, hook up your black alligator clip. This is called the easy ground rod.